Good morning. Welcome to the third week of Advent already. Somehow we are there. It is Monday, December 11th. Nope, Monday, December 12th. I knew I would do that. Monday, December 12th, and this is Trinity's Advent morning prayer, where we spend some time uh, with God in prayer in hearing his word as part of our way of, of being watchful and preparing for Jesus coming and, and being as people found to be ready for his coming again. I invite you to click the link in uh, the video description here that will open the devotional booklet as we use the order of morning prayer found a few pages down if you scroll down. And this is, uh, I've said already, uh, fairly repetitive. The same words, the same prayers being being uh, prayed each day, and that's intentional to get it into our hearts and into our spirits, into our minds, not as just rote memorization, but uh, as being uh, uh, rooted deep in us. And so as people rooted in God, let's pray as he has, has instructed us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Would you join me in praying our morning collect O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor run into any danger, and that, guided by your Spirit, we may do what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this point, I'd invite you to scroll down a Quite a few pages, I guess, as we uh, turn to hear from God's Word, the third week of Advent marked by joy, uh, lighting the pink candle uh, on, on Sunday there in worship. Uh, and our first reading for this week is 1 Samuel 2, a few verses there. It says, Then Samuel prayed, or excuse me, then Hannah prayed. She said, The Lord has filled my heart with joy. He has made me strong. I can laugh at my enemies. I am so glad he saved me. There isn't anyone holy like the Lord. There isn't anyone except him. There isn't any rock like our God. The Lord makes people poor. He also makes people rich. He brings people down. He also lifts people up. He raises poor people up from the trash pile. He lifts needy people out of the ashes. He lets them sit with princes. He gives them places of honor. A lot to ponder there. The joy and, and the mercy of a, a barren woman who suddenly is, is filled with life and with a child. And the work of God, the wondrous work of God in, in exalting in humbling, and ultimately God's work all around us. Lots you can ponder on there. I forgot to remind you to be attentive, but you can scroll back through and, and sit with that and, and ponder what, what God is, is speaking, what he is wanting to teach you today in, in his word. But for now, let's uh, join our hearts together in prayer using this question to frame our prayer this morning. What is something you are worried about? I'll give you a moment to think on this. What is something you are worried about? As I think I've prayed each week that we've had this question, Lord Jesus, teach us to cast our cares on you. We cling to them so tightly sometimes, hold them so close to us, trying to bear our own weight and our own burdens, struggling through life. When you invite us to lay them down at the foot of your cross, 
Help us to trust in you, though it may not be what we would choose or what we would do. May we trust in you, in your good work, in your mercy, and in your provision. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that you do hear our prayer and you know us. You know our needs and you meet them. May you take our anxious hearts and fill it with joy as you carry us in your strength, in your arms. And so we pray together, O oh God, most holy and most high and holy, three in one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we offer to you this day ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice. To you be all praise and glory, Amen. Now, as you go about your day, may you go in the strength and the peace of our Lord Jesus, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And I do pray that uh, whatever is worrying you, whatever weights and burdens you are carrying, that you uh, are able to cast them to the Lord today that even as you work through them, that he would be your rock, your strength, your provision, and your comfort. Thanks for being here and blessings on your day.